My name is Enrique Pallé, and I'm a researcher at the Institute for uh, Astrophysics in the Canary Islands. Here at the Roque de los Muchachos, we have uh, the largest telescope in the world. We have the 10 meter class, which is highly competitive. Only one in about six or seven uh, people that want to use it actually get to do it. The time is so precious that uh, for the observers it's given in hours. And this is conducting really uh, the top of the field astronomy right now here at the, at the rocket. The GTC is a fairly new telescope. It's been in operation for about a couple of years. Uh, so it's still producing its first science and its first discoveries. But with this telescope, we have already been able to glimpse the composition of the atmospheres of distant worlds, what's called the new exoplanets, planets around other stars. And we've also been able to follow dynamics of the stars around the central black hole of our galaxy. And we've been able to confirm the nature of some of the coolest uh, stars in the, in the Milky Way galaxy, what's called the brown dwarfs. We are, they are very faint, but they're very common. And this powerful telescope is able to grasp the composition of the atmospheres and make studies of how these objects are born. We were able to measure, or take a spectrum, a snapshot of how the Earth would look like uh, to an extraterrestrial observer and characterize exactly what are the features, the fingerprints of the different components of, of the atmosphere and of life. And we found out that actually it would be pretty easy if you have the good signal to noise to determine that this planet is inhabited. And I believe that we'll be able to be to conduct this kind of studies in the next maybe in two decades, 20 years from now. So my ultimate goal would be to detect life somewhere else before I retire. I think that would be really awesome. I would retire really happily. There's a revolution going on in the field of astronomy. There's hundreds of people working, thousands, hundreds of PhD students being formed in this field. And the field of astronomy is now going, it's already meeting with the field of planetary physics. And I believe these discoveries are possible. I do remember that I was interested in the stars and the planet uh, since the very beginning, since I remember. I remember I like, I still like science fiction. Uh, and I remember reading books when I was about uh, 16 at high school and watching this famous TV series from Carl Sagan, The Cosmos. And I think at that time I already knew I really liked that. And uh, it would be cool to work on this field, on this. So I guess always I had this in mind. A handful of sand contains about 10,000 grains, more than the total number of stars we can see with the naked eye on a clear night. But the number of stars we can see is only the tiniest fraction of the number of stars that are. Meanwhile, the cosmos is rich beyond measure. The total number of stars in the universe is larger than all the grains of sand on all the beaches of the planet Earth. Astronomy doesn't make me a pessimist or optimist. I think it makes me more of a realist. It's one of the fundamental questions that we, mankind, have asked ourselves for thousands of years, since we could permit the luxury of looking up. It's a fundamental question of uh, our nature. Uh, but the fundamental question of astronomy, I think, would be to understand the universe, which in the end is understanding ourselves, which is kind of related to finding out if we are alone in the universe or not. I think so. I think it's the universe trying to understand itself, as some people say.